Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Brave Angler. Today, we are gonna be talking about jerk baits. And when I mean jerk baits, I mean the soft plastic jerk bait and the hard jerk bait. Now, why are jerk baits important? Well, down here in Florida, any Florida fisherman can tell you that this is an absolute staple. We have a lot of grass here and the soft plastic jerk baits, they just go through the grass, they do wonders. A lot of people like using the white as well as the green pumpkin watermelon candy, what have you. You can't really go down here in Florida and not throw one of these. So we keep one of these tied on pretty much at all times. Actually, I have a designated rod just for jerk baits. Now, hard jerk baits have their place though, especially in deeper water. Because if you think, with this kind of jerk bait, you actually have to let it sink all the way down to the bottom. This jerk bait, on the other hand, as you jerk it, it actually causes it to dive. So when you are in eight feet of water, which we are right now, this jerk bait actually does a really great job getting down to a depth of about three or four feet and staying there. Meanwhile, this jerk bait, you have to let it sink all the way to the bottom before you start working it, and it'll slowly work its way to the top. Now, the good thing, like I said about these, is these can be absolutely weedless. They also come in a ton of different sizes. Now, something that a lot of people don't really realize is the original glide bait was pretty much a jerk bait. Like I said, down here in Florida, they're an absolute staple. So I'm gonna show you guys that these absolutely will catch you fish as well as what kind of retrieve I use. All right, so let's get fishing. All right guys, so we are gonna start off with the soft plastic jerk bait on a weedless form. Like I said, there is a lot of weeds in this area because um, we are down here in Florida and we got it in the baby bass color. And this is a four and a half inch uh, fluke. So we'll go ahead and cast it out there, see what we get. Like I said, the best way uh, to catch a fish on these is actually waiting a few seconds, let it sink all the way to the bottom before you start working it. And what I do, hold on, let me take my watch off. Cause I, I do stuff weird, like wear my watch inside my wrist. So, I just give it a couple jerks, let it sit, let it sink back to the bottom, and I, I change it up every now and then. We just basically keep working it like that. Now, a lot of people don't like keeping their rod tip down. However, I think you get the best action at keeping it low. Here we'll go this way right quick, where all the cover is. I think you actually get the best action of keeping this soft jerk bait down low every once in a while i will jerk it upwards just to kind of get it to do a little something different and sometimes just it being different causes the bass to strike and like i said one of the advantages to the soft jerk bait is you can actually make it weedless and you can throw it all the way in cover and not have to worry about getting snagged like that so now we're all the way up in those lilies we're going to try and lure a bass from under them. Ugh. Throw it back in this little channel. Now the setup I'm using for this little fluke is a medium, a seven foot four, I believe. Seven foot three, medium fast action rod on 12 pound line. To me, this is like, and then I do have a eight to one reel on here to me this is the perfect setup for jerk baits you get one, yep. Big one too. see caroline's using the drop shot over here like that's the biggest one i've got in a few weeks it feels so hot here yeah ow baby <laughs> my i'm left-handed so i can't get it out ow and he's got sharp dang you just had the bar of the hook stuck on the outside of his mouth too. So now it's up. There we go. Okay. Oh. Just hooked him on. There you go. Jeez. There we go. Alright, so first catch of the day and it's not on a fluke. This video is off to an excellent start. Baby, it's about jerk baits. Now, 
We enjoy every fish we catch. Woo! Almost fell off the boat. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Missed him. Dang. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, ignoring the no wake zone right next to the bird sanctuary. Yeah. Yep. See, guys, I'm all about everyone having a great time when they're, uh, you know, on the water. You know, this is fun out here. But, you know, we got to be respectful of, you know, our wildlife. And, like, right in front of me, that's actually called Bird's Island. And it's actually a bird sanctuary. And there is a reason why this is a no wake zone is because that is obviously getting smaller because of all the erosion and stuff. And then you got people doing that kind of stuff, cutting straight through all the seagrass. Yeah, well, so, you know, if you guys are going out boating, by all means, have fun. But, you know, be respectful of our wildlife because, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. There's no getting it back. I was in the middle of a story. Did I get you? No, you're wrapped up on my oh. pole though. Um, I mean, that's not good either. This fishing trip would have been cut very short. All right, babe. So anyways. getting bites yeah all right oh let's get them we did get here a little early guys um we were actually working on our bait trailer um doing the floor um but you know we have to take a four hour break so that um what we put in there can dry before we continue so we were like oh let's go fishing all right, I'm, I'm casting a little bit more left, baby, so. I'm just letting you know because you can't really see this line. No, you and Tyler Reels are going to be mad at me, but I got it to the Oh, there we go. And like I said, guys, this is an absolute staple. And is that a bass? Yeah. It is a bass. A it's a small little guy. Just a small little guy, but like I said, as you guys can see, this this is why this is an absolute staple here in Florida. It it definitely catches fish, and it catches fish of all size. So if you just want to go out and just catch a fish, you're not trying to catch the biggest fish. You know, you can definitely catch a fish. No. All right. So now that we've covered that you can catch a fish, we're with one of these. We actually chose this spot because it is a good spot to also throw the hard bait jerk bait, despite the grass, because the grass is much deeper. So we're gonna swap out to the hard. Now I actually use, for the small hard bait, I don't typically use these, but for the small one that I do have, I, uh, I just choose to use the same setup. Uh, I think it works really well. For y'all that don't know, that is a four-aught hook. Uh, I don't really use the three-aughts for flukes. The reason being is because flukes typically have a little bit more plastic that gets in the way with a three-aught hook. So I typically use four-aught. And then on my big fluke, which we will do after this, trying to get fish of a little bit bigger size i use a six aught wide gap hooks and we're just going to tie a quick fisherman's knot because i'm not going to keep this on for very long i don't think it's going to take long for us to get a fish with it so like i said the benefit to this bait is this bait you can work as quick as you want because the way it's designed 
is as you jerk on it, like I said, it makes it dive. And this one will be probably about, um, with this size, this is the 95 size. Um, this one dives about two to three feet, or excuse me, three to four feet. They are treble hooks, so if you're fishing around grass or something like that, they can get a little sticky. But you can also swim these, which is interesting. But like I said, guys, I'm more of a proponent for the soft jerk baits, mainly because typically here in Florida, like I said, there's a lot of grass around. Listen to Caroline over here making drug jokes. That's going to be edited out. Now, a lot of people like to throw these kind of jerk baits on medium heavy. As you can see, it is causing my rod to bend. However, the reason I don't throw it on medium heavy is because it is a treble hook. So when you set the hook on these, like you're not really setting the hook. You're more of like leaning into it. And I think the medium just does a better job in keeping the line tight. So Caroline thinks she's got a Mondo. So this is the perfect situation for the big fluke. So this is a seven inch fluke and it just so happens to be in one of my favorite colors. This is a black and blue with silver. I actually wish there was a purely black and blue one, which we'll, we'll come to that later on in the video. Fishing. Yep, that's why I love Florida. I'm excited. I've never been fishing before. Everywhere I've always liked it, but it's frozen. Ooh, something's chasing it. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Decent. Yep, that's him. Oh. Oh no. Oh, baby. He's just floating there. No, he was just floating, but dang guys. And like I said, see, that's why you use the bigger gaps. Dang. That's the biggest one we got over here before. Yep. He's at least three. Yep, that, that probably three pounds, I would say. That means they've been eating good this summer. <laughs> But see, like I said, flukes are not just for small fish. I mean, that was a pretty decent fish for this lake. And unfortunately, um, unfortunately, no, it's just like, I didn't keep pressure. Like as soon as I tried pull, I should have just boat flipped them. I just, uh, I didn't want to break my rod. Although this rod could have easily handled that fish. I just, I don't know. I, I always get weird about boat flipping, um, but like I said, we'll try and see if we can't get another one and actually put it in the boat. All right. Let's see if we can't, you know, get another. Dang. Oh my Lord. It's okay, it's getting later. They're gonna start getting more desperate. Yeah guys, so uh, we're still getting bites on it, but it might just be a little too big. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just went over me. Oh, here we go. Get in the boat. And he is barely hooked. He's barely hooked. All right, open wide, bud. They're active again. It's been so hot. They've been so sluggish. 
Yep. That heat wave. Well, I mean, I, I could have had like three. Yeah, but two. Four, actually. I lost okay, two fish. So, so from professional standards, two four. Yes. <laughs> YouTube standards, four to one. <laughs> All right guys, so you saw exactly how effective the jerk bait can be, especially down here in Florida. Like I said, soft plastic jerk baits are, I absolutely love them. It's what I initially learned how to catch bass on. We are gonna attempt to make our own. So as you can see, we have finally finished our trailer and we will actually come out with a video kind of giving you a tour of everything we've done to this trailer. We initially got it to be a food truck, but things change. But as you can see, we have got every piece of equipment needed. We got our colorants. We got plastic salt inside. Um, we're keeping it in there because it is super humid right now. And one thing that we are really excited about is we actually got an angling AI jerkbait mold, which from my research is one of the better molds and it is in the five inch, which is what we typically use. So, like I said, in our next video, we are going to be attempting that and fishing with our own jerk bait. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can catch that when it comes out. Thanks so much, guys. Now go catch a fish.